militarily layer field on the outskirts of Dundee. Essential cargo is being loaded, destined for a distribution hub in Poland. This is the latest lorry load to be sent to the region by Tayside and Strathairn Help for Ukraine. The group of volunteers launched in March to provide aid to Ukrainians fleeing their war-torn country. Polish people had for weeks been gathering goods all over Perthshire in warehouses, stores and containers and it took us over a week with vans from hire companies bringing them down to the warehouse at Errol until we had literally tons and tons and tons. People kept coming in and every day we were having between 10 to 50 to 60 people every day and I have to say that the businesses and people of Tayside and beyond has been excellent. To date, the Errol-based operation has sent 15 lorries and five vans to the Polish-Ukrainian border, totalling more than 300 tonnes of goods donated by the public. But it comes at a price, with each lorry costing around £5,000 to dispatch. Dundee United football supporters are the latest to sponsor a lorry, with the club's business manager planning to make a third trip to Ukraine to help distribute aid. A lot of people made an effort to bring a few boxes of food, clothes, you know, medicines. Uh, the supporters of Dundee United have put their money, you know, and I think I'm just doing that final step, you know, of the whole trip, you know, from everyone helping here. And now me, I'm just going to make sure that aid reach the people in need, you know. The work undertaken in Errol has also caught the attention of world-renowned adventurer Rosie Swale Pope. The 75-year-old is preparing to run from John O'Groats to Land's End multiple times, raising money for the Perthshire Appeal. I'll be heading up the coast, probably, and then I'll be heading to Inverness to meet the people there, and then I shall be heading off to John O'Groats, all for this charity, and then I will be running down for them and for another down south that also sends lorries now and then to the Ukraine. I'm very proud to be in Scotland. I've been running along with my cart and I've got the, the Ukrainian flag balloons on and I look forward to people coming to me and I also put it on my website to raise some money for you. It brings a tear to your eye and you feel it's a worthwhile job and the volunteers have been coming from the college, they've been coming from the schools. We are here to help all refugees, not just Ukraine now. We've decided if there's any refugees, we will try and help them. As you saw, we're now preparing starter packs so that when the families come, they can come and they can get a whole box and, and, and clothes and everything. Kenneth and the team say they will continue to send lorries full of donations for as long as necessary. But what's vital is that those donations are there to give. Sol Severite, STV News.